<coughs> Clearing throats. <coughs> Clearing throats. <coughs> uh, preparing my voice. And well. <laughs> this is my good buddy Christian, who is a pro at watchmaking. And uh, here is his little bench set up here. And uh, if you want to say anything about your bench, I'll leave it with you. But I know this is your genius uh, sort of idea, isn't it? Uh, well, it's not an original idea, but uh, I was just looking for a small watchmaker table, so I decided to build one my own to fit my size and everything. So it's just a tabletop watchmaker bench. So, and you've got, a, I've seen you've got a... Oh yeah, the drawer. Yeah, just oh, had to improvise like a small drawer out of a plastic... It's, um, it's all very uh, dentistry to me. It's all <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you you see, you are seeing that that just because of the colors, right? The bright colors. <laughs> yeah. I've I okay. So I've bought you. Well, you've seen the video, the part one. Yeah. I've bought you, Mr. Fluffy Seiko. Mr. This Fluffy. is the alarm quartz alarm, which is sort of like a bellmatic. And you've had a little look at it. You've had a little lie down. You cannot believe how fluffy that is. And you're gonna. Defluff it and um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to defluff it and clean the dial and, and the case. Just make it look nice and and clean. Yeah, that I'm. I've taken one before. I've uh, the the one I had originally. I've taken it apart so I can sort of guide you of what actually needs to be done. Even though you probably work it out anyway. And um, but it's a, it's a nice watch, isn't it? Quite nice, and with these sparkles on the tail, I think it looks cool. You think I should just leave those sparkles <laughs> and fluff? I mean, that is from the 1980s. Could be. A, Do you think so? Might have some smells in there. Yeah, we're gonna feel the, the, the 1980s <laughs> smell. We're gonna feel the vibe. Okay, so I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna do my best of distracting you. All right, I'm going to take the strap, the bracelet first just to have the case itself, it's going to be easy to work with, easy to clean. Yeah, I was going to say, recommend that, but... Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, just um, just being nosy, just notice that you're wearing something very, very, very unique. Yeah, uh, personal. This, this looks like a custom watch. It, it's not a... Mm, is it Swiss, maybe? No? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? No. no that looks like a carbon fibre dial. It yeah, is. Well, it is a <gasps> handmade carbon fibre dial. Oh my gosh. So, yes, no, not only does Christian repair watches, he actually does invent watches. So he's taking the straps up like that. Just, that would take me probably about 20 minutes to do what you've just done there. Just take the sprinklers yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I... Is that I used need. to have a, a proper tool to take them out, but it's not that sharp, so I prefer to do it with a screwdriver. If you are uh, careful, you can do it better with a screwdriver. So Sorry. now you said it should have a small cutout to lift. It's just a lit, yeah, it just lifts off. Uh. You should have a very thin lip. I think it's on this side. Right. Okay. It doesn't really look like you have anything. You told me it's. Uh, did I? Did I like the you? Lugs. Oh, maybe I got that wrong. Yeah, you you can see it here if you if you can zoom in okay. or something. It's just like a shaved edge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the way to. Um, so yeah, if you to open it. So if you have one of these lying around and you want to get to it, but then you do you have to take the battery off or? Ah uh, well. Let's do it now because it's going to be safer, you know. Oh, look, look, neat, neat trick using the back of the, uh... <laughs> the tweezers. I did use you a, have a penny or something. I think it's a penny. Yeah, do you okay. have a penny? Right. Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the sort of first time you've seen this watch and you're taking it apart already. Uh, sort of. Well, yeah, you know. So we've got a good battery in this. In theory, they're all the same. <clears throat> 
Good Swiss battery. I tell you, the mood. Should I put a? Yeah, I think I'll put this one back. It doesn't really it, clamp to anything else, but just a case back, right? Yeah. Because I haven't opened this one before, so I don't really want to mess anything up. Okay, the move. The movement inside. Yep. Is is actually very impressive. The heck! Oh, my. I, oh, I should should have took photos when I took the other one apart, but. Hey, <clears throat> you should have kept them for a... The Japanese do know how to uh, seal things. Yep. There's a lot of grunting going on. It looks like it's moving. It's going. Yep. Done. Oh, the noise of success. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. What's that? Oh, that's the, that, the alarm. That is the alarm. Do you want to have a show the camera? Right, now I understand how it works. So actually this small thing over here it's actually it a, have been it's out. a it's, yeah it's a, it is a two part um, yeah but this one yeah screws through both. You see? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So you have the threads on this one, not in this one. This one is just plain. Oh, okay. Just the cut, and then the thread is on the actual back one. So yeah, look so at that. The thread so it's on the back one. Screw down in it. Screws down in this one. I'll just get a little bit. Of, there you go. Oh, look at these now ones. look at the movement. <gasps> See, good Japan. Look at that. And that PCB is in like in dark, dark blue, isn't it? Yeah. It looks Swiss, doesn't it? It's got that sort of Amiga. I'm not sure what you mean by Swiss, because it looks. Well, they over overload it with the gold, don't they? They like to put lots and lots of gold. In these. They said it's, it's much better for uh, conductivity, so it, you don't lose too much power from the 1.4 volts battery. Oh, okay. So it's uh, you're gonna your battery is gonna last longer if you have gold inlays. That is gold really plated and stuff. So it's got two crowns. The the alarm crown is the one I pulled out first. So when you pull it out, is the the, the four o'clock yeah, one? Yeah, no, that's it. Four o'clock is two o'clock is on the top. <coughs> you I have an yeah. arrow. I just here. said yes. I just say yes to everything. So <laughs> you have an arrow here that yes, seems like you, you've got tells it. you to to drag it up. I don't need to tell you, do I? Just just well, know this it's stuff. It's my first time I'm, I'm opening just, this one, so. Nice yeah. and gentle. That's oh, lovely. So smooth. It's well made though. It it's is well really, engineered. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Now we have another one here. This one back, I need this. If you hear any knocking in the background, um, Christian lives in a haunted house. No, it's actually uh, Storm Francis. We have Storm Francis today. That's his name, Francis. It's Francis. It's always a, it's always a lady, isn't it? Lady names. I'm glad you washed your beard today. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you were gonna film it, so I yeah, I, I did. All right. You have to to find the, the right spot. To you have to get the right spot. sort of floating around with the other camera. Well, well. It's in order to take the crown out, the stem, to release the stem you have to put it to the second position and press on top of it. You can see here. Oh right on the edge. Okay. Right yeah. on the edge, yeah. And that's for both of them? Uh, yeah, but the thing is with the three o'clock crown that's that thing it's hidden so you have oh. to drag the crown out and after that will you'll find the the pressing lever lever oh, okay. yeah. yeah lever that's that's american i think lever 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 <laughs> right 
Uh, does that now? That's that's, that's it. You're in now. So um. Flipping it over. Oh, got that fluff. Ooh. You could stuff a mattress with that. <laughs> So I what do you, what try do you, first to pick it up because I don't really want to blow it inside the. So this, what is this stuff you're using? It's Rodeco, some sort of uh, blue tag, but specially made for watches. It doesn't really leave any marks, like oily marks after. Oh, okay. Quite good. I saw that in the in my first part video on the especially on the Seiko badge. It, it seemed to have a little bit of corrosion. What's it look like? Well, on this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like you have some texture on it. It's not, that's uh, not. It's what? coming off. Oh, it's coming off? Yeah. <gasps> it's gonna be like new. Almost, yeah. What we have to do is to install the stem again. Just move the hands out of the way. Okay. But you have quite a lot of dust on it. I know. I think it's the well, way you, you be 40 years old. That's older than me. No. <laughs> it's a lot older than you. Well, it's not a lot older than me. Okay, me? don't give away to me. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> but the actual dial is a uh, it's really nice, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. really it's really nice that charcoal. Yeah, I quite like these these dials. I mean, I have a a pulsar with this pretty much this I think it's a bit darker but it's the same thin matte paint yeah it looks so so soft when you look at it I have no idea how they're painting these these there or with yeah. what type of paint it seems to be like a water-based one it's very very thin I like the little red the little red touch on the mm -hmm. uh, on the alarm 12 o'clock yeah well the, the well that's the well you don't know how this works do you uh, I think I've, yeah I've seen the video so I do know when it's red that's when you can adjust the the, the alarm and when it's blue is the alarm the alarm it's on yeah and when it's um, uh, black but it's a bit of sh a shiny black isn't yeah it? it has a little sheen to it yeah that's the alarm off quite like it it's, I mean, Seiko, these guys have a lot of technical details in their watches. Mm. Yeah, this was pre, pre, what are they, um, how am I going to say this? I'll wait till you stop blowing. I feel like Seiko, I really like Seiko, I like the, I like the brand, I like, I like the watches. But I feel like all of a sudden they seem to be bringing out some very limited edition watches and uh, starting to make the prices increase heavily. And uh, back in the 80s, they would just redesign a new watch, wouldn't they? But mm -hmm. it seems like now you have a turtle and then you have another turtle and then you have the... Oh, what's that really newest one they've released? The Wallow? 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 I don't know. The Felt the fel Willow, isn't it? Mm. Again, the prices go up, and it's another collectible timepiece. And uh, I, I guess you know, if you, for an investment, maybe. But I feel for us, sort of um, normal, more normal folk, uh, the the we're we're say regular. Not uh, don't, class, eh? Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to spend thousands on a watch. You know, you, 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 a few hundred pounds is sort of uh, yeah. We're quite comfortable with that. And, um, Does it worth spending so much money for a watch? For the same, I mean, you got the Turtle, for example, the the Turtle Life. I've got the Pepsi one. Then they released another one with Save the Oceans or whatever. And then and it's just the price just goes up, and it's basically the same watch but different color. And because they make it a different color and limited edition, it's uh, it does you know basically it's a, it is the same watch. So how are you feeling about that? the people watching <laughs> each to their own hey but when back in the early days the sort of well the 80s oh, I think the 80s was great a great time um, they, they wouldn't do such a thing 
would they? They would just make a completely new design and just make it like this. Wow, there's some really delicate work going on there. Quite a lot of dust, so yeah. I've noticed that it, the paint starts to come off the edge of the dial ring, but it's not visible, just in like different angles, you see? But it pretty much is because of the age. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see, you see here? Well, it's um, like a few shiny bits. Okay. But they're actually, it's not fluff or anything like that. It's not, it's not a speck, it's not a shim. Well, oh, that wind is really oh, yeah. building up outside. So, uh, you could always take it outside and it give it a good blow. You could have saved yourself all this time. <laughs> yeah, know. but not the watch. I won't save the watch. It wouldn't look as good as well. No. It, uh, hands would be all blown over the place. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you got to put the crown in and to... Yeah, I will move now the hands. Okay. Do I need to hold my breath? <laughs> it's a bit like Fly on the Wall documentary, this. We uh, we do have some odd chats, don't we? We don't do mm -hmm. like to. Uh, we both have that sort of engineering and geeky side, don't we? And uh, we like these tiny, you know, details. It is detailing. Yeah, I like all that. I like the quirks. Well, yeah, we both like the quirks, don't we? Mm. And. Um, You've got a very unusual uh, accurist, haven't you? Well, yeah, which I have quite a few, though. Which you're going to let me uh, uh, film, hopefully borrow, and, and I'll film because I'm going to do a little piece on accurist, so mm -hmm. there's a little uh, hint to what's coming up. But the one you've got is, I'm not going to say too much about it, but it is what it does is so cool. Well, you have an accurist, right? You still have yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, but no one's seen it. Yeah, how how do you feel about it? Do you like I, it? I like it. Yeah, yeah I think I they're like quite accurate. good watches. I think they should. Underestimated though. I, oh, totally agree with that. I've seen Acuries better than than a lot of designers' watches and even even like uh, micro brands. And they're so old. I mean, the one I had there with the uh, uh, Mio. Myota modules, which is Citizen, right? It's Japanese. Well, it, it's, but, it's Citizen now, but has it was well, it wasn't always Citizen. No, but they used to supply Citizen with uh, mm. movements before. Mm. So uh, oh. anyway, they're Japanese. Mm. Uh, Seiko, Casio, and the others. So they're quite good quality, and they don't cost a fortune. I mean, it was a, yeah the the very early um, accurist were. Swiss made, yeah, and but they you, were were yeah. quite expensive. They were, and they are quite expensive now. If you find one, if you find one there. Well, the, keeping in mind that they are, they used to do like solid gold cases with ETA movements and stuff. I mean, oh, I know, and know. they and they did um, in England. I don't know about any other country, but in England we had the Millennium Clock, and it was run by Accurus, and they did that for three. Was it a three-year countdown? to year 2000. Yep, I need a paintbrush. Oh, a very fine one. So uh, you won't damage the dial, but it's gonna be strong enough to to brush it off. Okay, so a little paintbrush in there. Wow, well, look at the, you. See, I wouldn't have done this. I would have just put that in a bucky, bucket of soapy water <laughs> well, the thing is, this matte color is quite. It's I wouldn't very, say fragile, right. but if you touch it with your bare hands, you're gonna leave a mark yeah. and it won't come out. And I have very greasy fingers. I've just well, eaten, all of us. I've sorry. just eaten some KFC. That's why. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, 
look at that. Blow in the workstation as well. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, you have to, to, to clean around it because otherwise you're doing it for no reason. Well, let's push this one a bit just to get some new. I'm working here. See you. Do you always use the right eye for with the loop? Uh, usually, yeah, but sometimes at work, like if you stare all day long, you, you might get a tired eye. So usually I'm changing it after like five or six hours. But it's mainly the right eye. Okay, because I'll just say from, from, my, uh, from my side, I, it's like I, I can't talk to someone on the left ear on the phone mm -hmm. it's like I go deaf even though both ears are perfect but when I'm doing something like this I can only work with but the you don't think you're you're using your right ear just because you're I using feel, your yeah. right hand yeah I feel like uh, yeah there's certain things that <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's that thing they do when they're reversing the car what's that silly thing you think you're actually the you know, improving the vision. It's not taking your seat belt off. It's something. I'll, I'll come back to it. I'll, I'll, turning I'll, around. Uh, you're not using your it, your mirrors, and you just turn around the, the seats. And it's like it improves. It's like it improves your asset. Turning the radio down. Oh yeah, improves your eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that, but actually, it's not improving your eyesight. It's improving your your hearing. concentration, isn't it? Your concentration, and if you hear bang, that means you have to stop. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's I, all. I think I should have it on loud now. I just bump my way. A Paris Perry Perry parking is how I do it. But um, but yeah, that's what my my eyes like. My my left eye, it feels like I need to turn the radio down, <laughs> so to be able to hear, to see, to see, <laughs> see yeah. here, see here. And I wear my watch on the right hand. Yeah. Because really? yeah, it well, tells yeah. tells time better. <laughs> <laughs> You're always in time if you wear it on your uh, yeah. No, your I'm right. always, no, it doesn't matter where it does. <laughs> I'll probably be on time if I didn't wear a watch. <laughs> I always like to know how late I'm going to be, so I can apologise. So I'm twenty minutes late, <laughs> and a day. <laughs> Mm, you have few specs, few shiny swerves that doesn't really come out. So, uh, but for young, for young eyes, that would you it'd be a well. You won't be able to see them though, because once the glass is in, yeah, they won't be so visible. They are very, very fine. So, I mean, I've, I've I've been able to see them through the eyeglass though. So uh, it's here. Okay. And a little bit there. Mm. That's okay. I usually keep the lights facing the other way around to not hurt my eyes so you can see it much better. Looks like I have a speck here. The logo seems to be quite clean. Oh yeah, because when I yeah, as I was saying when I was doing the filming it looked filthy, it looked Look like it had, yeah, both um, logos are fine now. Look like it had corrosion on it. So those hat, those um, those badges, what are they made of? A very fine metal. Pretty sure they are metal though. Not yeah. Oh, okay. And you think? Do you think they've been chromed with something or just polished or chromed? Just... Yeah. Well, think about it. Back then they. I mean, Nowadays we have a lot of gadgets and tools that allow us to, to work in like micro sizes. But back then, I have no idea what they've used to, to make such a sharp logo. Mm, it's really, yeah. Nowadays you have CNC's and laser cutters and well, they had laser 3D cut. printers in metal. Didn't they have laser cuts back then? I mean, I remember watching James Bond and then he had his... Yeah, but think Things. about it. It wasn't so mainstream. Was, yeah, <laughs> was that was not that was fantasy, isn't it? That wasn't really. Uh, yeah, but I think that fantasy 
had like a seed of rea reality. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. James, James Bond was um, was a uh, was once a Senko. I think that was more Roger Moore, wasn't it? Yeah. I think he had the he had the most gadgety watches. I'll tell you what, someone, some a subscriber and a very good friend of mine, and you will know who you are because you'll be watching this, I'm sure. He's asked which watch has been featured the most in the film in in films in the film industry, and I'm talking we're talking brand. So, what would you reckon is the is the brand that's been mostly shown in films in any film? What would you have a guess at? Because I don't know the answer. Well, I can have a guess. Go on in. Well, I think Casio, though. I've, I've, I've noticed a lot of G-Shocks in all sorts of movies. Oh, there's a new there's a new film out with um, the actor from Thor. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, I did post on my channel my community page to... And he wears a Rangeman. A, a yeah, see, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of... The first gen. In yeah. green. 87, G not 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, they, they all used to have G-Shocks. G-Shocks and Pro Masters. Oh yeah, Speed, Speed was Speed was G G-Shock, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Have you Fiona? seen Hackers uh, or something like that? Okay. No. You remember I showed you that uh, oh. G-Shock for sale, the square one. Yes. And they have all sorts of weird G-Shocks and Pro Pro Tricks, I think. Yeah. And which and what film is that called? Hack. I think it's Hackers or something Hackers. like that. Okay. I don't remember, but it's an old one. It's a 2000 or 99, I don't know. So you you're should... going for Cassia. Could we have... Because yeah. we, haven't look, we haven't looked into it enough, but... Um... Well, it, you know, it's, it's not an expensive brand, but it's, like, really tough, and it can be used in different scenes. Like You can wear it as an army guy. You can wear it as a, I don't know, street artist. You can mm. wear it as a biker. Oh, that's me. Yeah, see? I remember the... I don't know which one it is. The remake of Predator. When they Predator versus Aliens. And there, in uh, one of them, they had um, a PRG 40 Protrex. And I had the same watch. And there was one scene where he set the timer. And on that particular watch, it never had a timer. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, I, and you know I would have kept that watch if it had a timer. Yeah, one watch that I had and was from a movie and was my first watch I bought because of a movie. That's when I started going into watches was uh, the movie Time Cup with Jean-Claude Van Damme or something. Yeah. And he had a tachymeter Casio, a racing raisin base case I'm not sure if I still have it somewhere playing around but it was quite cool though well, we're on to the crystal now that's probably also got a lot of 80s muck on there mm. why is it so fluffy well this is not a water resistant watch is it it's not a it's not even splish proof? It's, it's not splish even proof. splish proof. No. No. Come out of that. So a lot easier than you thought. Because your, mm, your you floor is covered in an inch thick of fluff. You do realise that. What? <laughs> yeah. <My> floor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need a dirty one now. A dirty... A dirty one? D yeah. Dirty erotico. To okay. clean the edges. So maybe oh, that's okay. So you're going into where the crown and... Okay. Yeah, you can drop a lot of... A lot of nasty things. So if you want a, a watch serviced, I shall leave your contact details, yeah? Well, whenever I have time to do it, though. Oh, there you go. But it's okay. worth the wait. Well. You get a lot of OCD-ness and care, don't you? You are properly really passionate. Well, I quite like them, so, you know, I feel bad when they're... Uh, In dirty condition. Yeah, I mean, they're 
they're not just tools anymore they're like part of history and and you know it's a history of a of a brand they won't be around for long though mm, they're not gonna they don't because they're not making the same movement with the same features they're what? just why do you think why do you think that why do you think do you think the sort of the 80s or the 90s that sort of period do you think that was a really because that for me was my best and yeah. favorite time of my life and for, um, for watches isn't it and for me for watching because it was all the new beginning of uh of, you know i mean the invention of the microwave still blows me away but um but the my passion really started to grow around that time i didn't even know about g-shop till much later i was i was definitely into casios and uh citizens and um but uh, I'd say high-end makes the brand. I mean, Rolex was just known as to be... Uh, yeah. Well, if you ask me, the Rolex is just a boring watch. It's just a... Yeah, it's just... They're it, all the same. Different colors, different... But it's the same case, same same, same idea behind. Yeah, so they kept it... They've simplified it, they? they kept it simple. Yeah, I mean... It, and, it, and, it, and it works, where, whereas... Cool, um, obviously, it is, but it's just a simple one. But it's the, it, was the t it was that period where they, they cracked the iconic design, making it timeless. And um, I feel that some, some watches have lost that timeless, and they've become... Uh, you, you know, you they've, they've, uh, you want that watch, and when you get that watch, and you have it for a, f a few months, and then you sort of tire from it so quickly. Whereas picking up something from the eighties, you just oh, it's just got so much more uh, character and design mm -hmm. about it, and and um, yeah, well, a lot thinner as well. So if you want big fat watches, I don't think they really made big fat watches. No, back then. these are like. Since 2000, I think, they, they start with a big case. Like, it's gonna, rest, it's gonna, it's gonna harm your wrist, though. It's gonna break your wrist. You're gonna mm. end up with a, a hand longer than the other one. <laughs> these watches. Oh, okay, I a rag attack. Yeah, I mean, I like these. You can really hide these under a shirt or something. Like this, yeah. this, this Seiko, it's nice and slick. Well, I was taking the mic in my video when I was uh, sort of making it. So you're hiding it under the sleeve, and then I uh, <laughs> used Thor as <laughs> getting the attention, which you do not want. Uh, now it's being cased. Now it's now cased in England. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is cased in England now. Now it's cased in England. Right, so yeah. that's put that's put value on it. Must surely come on. Obviously. <sighs> Oh my God, there's no that, scratch there, but it's it's on the exterior. Oh, so it's very fine. That's dark. I thought it's a fluff. Oh, not fluff. but no, it's not. So the dial looks. My God, looks like in HD. That, is it? I can see it from here. That is really, really clear. Oh my God. All right, first let's clean the crowns a bit. And the dirty crown. Yeah, just a bit. See, I would have just put a dirty crown in. Well, you can put it well, back in, but, you know, if you still have it out, why not cleaning the... Is there a gasket on that? Yep. It has got, so, it's yep. so it must, well, it, well, then it should be dustproof. Well, at least it is dustproof. If um, if uh, Seiko is watching, um, I hope so, <laughs> um, I've actually got a second one of these, and I'm after a crystal. And I really do need to find it because the the bodge repair that was done on it is just disgusting. Do you think you'll be able to find, or do you think there's they still have like uh, parts for these watches? Uh, on this particular, I mean, I hope so, but you yeah. know, I've been, I've been, I, to be honest, I've been, I have been looking for probably nearly close to two years for a replacement crystal and um, so far nothing no chance and uh, then this one came up and oh wow couldn't believe it but uh but it's a bit fluffy and now it's being restored Look at that. oh so that handy drawer is great isn't it yeah or Swiss Swiss Army. 
Mm. Oh, so what's this? This is this looks. Uh, yeah, I'll just put some some oil on okay. the the seals, just to have a an easy sliding on it. You don't really need much. It's just mm. a bit because it might be dry. Yeah, Saturday, yeah, you don't want to stop. You want it to dry out. Don't you? Yeah, because otherwise you, it's gonna crack. It's some sort of a plasticky. Mm. Crown. So, um, get that in your chin, though. In your <laughs> chin hair. Well, I can use this for my beard, too, you see? Yeah. It's good. Wow, so, you're in, look at that. So, it's great satisfaction, isn't there, when you, when you do something like this and, um, I mean, really, you wouldn't have me behind you <laughs> feel it. It's quite cool, though. I'm just really, I get really into it watching, watching you do what you're doing. Because um, for me, I'm not fluent like that. I can do a certain amount, but actually cleaning a dial is something I, I just wouldn't want to risk it. I, I know I would damage something. Well, as long you know what what material to use and uh, what not to use, like what you should avoid, it's fine. But like you said, being an old dial, it's, it's, it's quite tricky because the paint can just flick. Mm. So. I've, uh, I've run out of film on the other camera, so I might have to, um, well, I'm going to have to use the other camera. Go on the tripod. On the tripod, go shaky, shaky cam. Shaky cam. Yeah, that's pretty much done now. I will put some oil and that's it. If you've seen your glasses, then look. Good shot. Mmm. <laughs> Good. So this this bench you made is absolutely. Look at that. Look at the angle on that. It's just so looks so comfy. You've done a, such a great job on that. Well, I had a lot of fun building it. it. Wasn't easy though. Yeah. So if you want one built, it might cost you <laughs> a small fortune. <laughs> yeah, it's just a small fortune. So it's not mass production. Maybe one a year. Yeah. It's usually these watchmaker tools and everything seems to be quite expensive though. I see well, you actually there. I saw you got Bougion, Bougion oil, um, the oiling tool. Oh yeah, the oilers and stuff. Mm. Well, you can buy some others, but they're not so expensive, so they have a good quality. But they have professional tools, which I don't really need because I'm not building watches, I'm just servicing. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Um, it looks like you had a bit of rust in there. Eh? Rust. Yeah, just mm. just here next to the crown, the the chocolate crown. When you say rust, you mean rust on the actual case? On the actual case, even though it's stainless steel. Uh, yeah, I think it's between the crown tube and mm. the case, so it might be the crown tube. Okay, so yeah, cause that but it's just a bit under the plating, so okay. There's nothing to nothing to alarm. That should last no, no, another no, no, no. another forty years. Someone yeah. else can worry about that. I'll be long gone by then. Mm. All of us. <laughs> so is it is it a watch you would wear? Would you? Yeah, quite well, like this one. Yeah, okay. I like the, I well, like the shape. You, I like you, the, can, the you, can, you can borrow that. Borrow it. Cushion. Cool. How do you call it? Cushion. Yeah, I think I'll borrow this one. Yeah, you can, I, when, you, when you're done, you borrow it now, because I'm not nah, wearing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have to wear my, my oh, other one so oh, yeah, for like yeah. three weeks. Okay, well, when your three weeks is over. Yeah, I'll you, ask him. Yeah, I you, mean, can, you can I'll borrow. give you some of my accurist, which are quite cool too. Well, I'm hoping to take a few today, because I want to do a yeah, video. Yeah, I'll give you the, the, uh, the one probably, you want. Probably Thursday. Yeah. Mm, lovely. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to phone up Acrist and see if I can... <laughs> get a new one off them because they're new sort of divers i've looked on their website they oh, wow for pretty uh good prices for what for uh for for, for the uh accurist yeah so i want to see uh 
I want to see if I can get a. I want to see if I can get a. Um, get some reviews from other uh, brands, other uh, you know, other brands, other watches, other different styles. And uh, I've been to talking to a fellow YouTuber, and he's become a friend now from Watch Crazy, and uh, we're talking about sort of uh, seeing if we can sort of get some watches and sort of share them. So we both get two opinions because I'm pretty mad and don't know really what I'm doing but I'm into detail and sort of the tutorial side uh, whereas the other guy does a lot of good history stuff you know he has a he has a good brain I have a bad memory but um, I like sort of like the war videos the on the fly on the wall fly on the wall sort of stuff you know mm. very random I think that line should be aligned with the dot. There's a little, is it? Yeah, there's only, a, it won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't think so. It, it's, it's the outer case, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, it's the, um, the inner one. No, the outer case is yeah, the, the outer one case that is snaps the one. on that but dot. But even on this one, you see you have like a line here. Hang on, I can't really. I might, I don't know how much zoom I can get. Okay. Well, it's, you won't be able to see it. Okay, well, try, try again. Uh, yeah, this one here, I'm running the tweezers yeah. through the groove. Oh. Should pretty much align with this one. It's not on top of it because you won't be able to get a speaker inside the, um, the module if you're aligning it. So it's just a bit offset. Okay. You see, it's, the battery hole, it's pretty much on top. Okay, then I've got the cable behind. Oh, me. Right. Yeah, so it's not flight. It's not me. Another spider. It's not me. Anything like that. No, right? I've got the ca I've got the cable because I'll take it off the tripod. Mm -hmm. Now let's clean this one. You see, you have a bit of rust here too, but it might be able to come out. Mm, wait a second. I think I have some a brush. Yeah, we can brush it a bit. There we go. Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, it's working. All these little little tools you have and you just know what to use. Well I've learned over the years though. It's like a good mechanic, you just You have to practice, you know. Mm. Yeah, I pick up little tools on the way. I, I have a dream come true box. And I just keep those little tiny little things, little packaging things, and those little just little things little that you stuff. may find useful. And then, and you go, wow! I need I need a particular size little tool or something I can bricolate into make into something else. And then, dream come true box. Ta da! So that's a it's aligned. Was there a gasket on that? No. no. There was no gasket on this one, but you had a gasket on the small one. You wouldn't. Oh, okay. The, the inner one, it had a gasket around it, which was pretty, pretty alright, pretty much alright. Uh, yeah, it looks alright now. Huh? Impressed how it that sort of is assembled. And, One uh, second. I mean, what? Okay, in the 80s, okay, take yourself back in the 80s, what? would be the cost for this watch what would you think the price would be uh, considering that quartz was quite a in demand watch at that time i guess wasn't it uh, pretty much I'm, I'm sure it was more expensive than a automatic one or a manual wind i don't know it was pretty much the cost of a i was i was sort of guessing mm. Don't know. About I was sort of today's money. I was guessing around about five hundred pounds. Just. Oh, okay. I'm oh, way off. <laughs> yeah, I think they were quite expensive when they first came out. Like around a thousand, two thousand. <gasps> yeah. Get a motorbike for that. Uh, or you can get a nice watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Long video. Yeah. Do you think they get bored? 
I don't know. I mean, it's just, just they, they can just like yeah. press forward. It. It's one of these videos you just um, yeah it's think of it as if it's live. You know um, those live videos. They also talk a load of nonsense as well. But here we're actually doing some. Well, you are actually doing something. Whereas the others just sit on a sofa, don't they, and talk about what your Grail watches. <laughs> we don't have Grail watches. We think they're all Grail watches. <laughs> don't tell the missus you bought the Grail watch because you'll no. never buy another one again. <laughs> <laughs> she would never say, I've bought my Grail shoes and handbag. <laughs> so now everything's back together. The, the battery's in, it's ticking, so you haven't broken it. <laughs> And you were just in the date there, look at that, Tuesday 29. And what are you thinking that? Might have to show it a different angle, but it looks like new. <gasps> look at the difference. Should I put a before and after shot? I do a before and after shot of the fluffiness. Yeah, you can do it if you have like good shots. Yeah. I, I do it on the screen, mm -hmm. a before and after shot. Mm -hmm. So now it's just the yeah, so this one can... just the bracelet. So I don't need to film you doing that. No, it's fine. Oh, I found a little secret stash here. You've been busy at the uh, car boot sales. Mm -hmm. That's a that's an interesting citizen. Mm -hmm. All right, so just putting the uh, the spring pins, which uh, is not a not an easy job. Let me yeah. just throw a camera in your face. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's loud, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is so clean. <gasps> God, how much do I owe you? Or can I afford it? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can afford it. I don't think I am. <laughs> I'll have to trade a few watches with you. This is the pulser you said. Yeah, at the beginning of yeah. the video. That it's a pretty much similar dial with the same greyish matte color. It's dark, but you see, it's quite a nice, quite nice a, finish on it. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Isn't that it's like a, just a little bit bigger version, thicker hands and? Yeah, I think it's 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 not as old as this one. That's why it's it's, it's a, it's a kit. Yeah, it's on yeah, a nice. It's a uh, bit massive now. PVD. PVD aluminium PVD. keys. Uh, yeah. So now, so hang on now, I sounded like I was doing <laughs> I sounded like I was going to do a tutorial there, but I would have leave my natural voice. And uh, so it's all done. It's absolutely looking incredible. Absolutely incredible. So I'm going to thank you so, so much. And uh, anyway, um, have you got anything you're sort of uh, doing after this? Any, any servicing? Yeah, I have any other watches? Yeah. Oh, what have we got here? For, uh, for a clean. Oh, hang on. Okay, just needs a clean and a service. Yeah, just a little fast cleaning and a service. Looks quite dirty. Mm. Okay, good yeah. luck with that. And I would like to say thanks again for... Oh, excellent job, excellent job. I'm going to leave your uh, email downstairs and if you seriously want a service, I mean, we're high-end high service. I mean, what he's serviced here is actually... <laughs> really little compared to what he usually does um thanks again and as always thanks for watching yeah thanks for watching